Hey guys, Chris Mario back from another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to draw hoodies. <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited to actually do this video because hoodies were always very hard for me to draw. So uh, I ended up going in and creating a little system to draw them, and especially the hood was always very difficult for me. So I ended up simplifying why the hood wrinkles look the way they do, so that way we can further understand why we draw the shape we do and how they look in different angles. So let's get into it. So we got a nice fresh piece of paper here where we're gonna start with our hoodie. We're gonna be going over the concept of the hood first. Uh, so that way the rest of the hoodie goes a lot smoother. Um, I'm drawing the hood nice and stretched out here. Um, if you're following along, you can do it with whatever you want, pencil, marker. Uh, I would suggest if you're just learning kind of how to draw hoodies, I would suggest to use pencil and then go over it. Uh, I'm just doing this for time's sake. So it helps us get through it faster. And like I said, we're gonna be going over all this other stuff that I'm doing here as well. Um, just wanna draw the whole hoodie so that way we get a good idea of what this looks like all together. Bam, bam, shabam. It's kind of a poofy hoodie. I might've made this a little bit wider than I should have, but it's okay. There we go, we got the hoodie. So this hood, you can see this is all stretched out on purpose. So what we're actually gonna be looking at here is it from a side angle real quick. Um, we're gonna put a converging point. It's all converging to this point right there. So this stuff is all much bigger than this. So it actually, if we stretch it out, it's gonna look roughly like this. And what we do is it's going to break down into three different folding points like this when it's all folded downward. What does that look like? Well, it looks essentially like this shape right here. I'm gonna go down, over, down, converge, converge here, do the same shape over here. And now some people would be satisfied with that, which is okay. Um, this, this looks just fine for a uh, kind of a hoodie wrinkle. I'm going to go with one extra wrinkle, uh, which you don't always have to do, but this is how I am going to be going about it with my hoods and gives that a little bit more flavor. Let's put in a neck here and maybe just a quick little head. Voila! <laughs> and a quick little head. Okay. Now let's go and explain what we're actually seeing here. So if we were to take this hood and start folding it down a little bit from the side, what's it going to look like? It's gonna start doing this. Then we're gonna see another wrinkle essentially like that. And then essentially another one. So it's starting to wrinkle downwards. We're starting to move this guy downwards. Not all the way down yet though. So what's gonna happen is this section right here, is actually gonna go further down than this wrinkle section. So this one is actually going to be moving upward and that's what this blue spot is. And when I realized uh, what was actually going on with the wrinkles, it helped so much more on why it looks the way it does instead of just saying, do this shape, you're good. Because if you understand why they're doing what they do and where it's actually placed on the hood when it's uh, nice and flattened down, to make these wrinkles, you're gonna be able to do them in different angles a lot easier. All right, so let's now go further down and actually do this hood from the side all the way crunched down from the side. Got a little bit of table here. <laughs> okay, so let's do this, bam, bam. And it's all nice and folded down here. And there you go. Uh, let's do that. Do that as the arm, come down here, do some wrinkles, wrinkleage, wrinkleage, mm -mm. bam. Do that part of the hood. There we go. And uh, maybe not show the whole other side, but okay. So what is actually going on here? We actually see that this, like I said, is actually this wrinkle going upward, this part is going all the way down like that. So we're actually watching this actual liner here go down further than this wrinkle. Now let's do this. This wrinkle is actually this center wrinkle. So we got 
Uh, let's go ahead and actually label these. So we got one, two, three. Don't really have to see that too much on there. Uh, so this is now, this is now the one, this is the two, and this is the three. So two is actually coming up above one because one is being pulled down much further into the back. And that's why when you see hoodies from the back, a lot of the time, you'll see one wrinkle here, and then you'll see this top wrinkle be uh, kind of coming around and wrapping in. And sometimes you might even see a couple little, someone will do some wrinkles like this from the back or something. And then we see this bigger part, which is number three, this bigger part like this, and it's all converging around to the front there. So we got, let's go ahead and do, that's number two. Um, let's go with this color. This is number one. And this is number three. Very close in color. <laughs> but yeah, I found that this is the most simple method for me, at least hopefully it works for you guys too, to kind of break down the hood. So the reason why this section here, not this one, not this top one, this section of wrinkles here are the primary stuck together ones right here. So that's why we can do this and have them converge like this, go down, and they're actually together like that. That is essentially this section right here. And that's why we can go bam, bam. And you don't have to do the inside wrinkle. Some people don't. Some people make it smaller. Like we can go down smaller here. Let's do a different color. We can go down smaller so it's not so predominant. But uh, yeah, there you go. And let's do the neck there and throw in a little head again. And that is how you do the hood wrinkled up. Uh, we can demonstrate that really quick again. Just essentially this shape, like a stair step there. We go in and then, you know, you can have that, that, and one on the inside. And there is the neck. And uh, this helped me a lot. Uh, and yeah, like I said, hopefully it helps you. But now let's actually go into a hoodie just from the front and uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. And this gets pretty simple. And yes, I do have a My Hero volume over here and that's because uh, it's a little bit too high for my hand to reach actually on here. Uh, it's It makes drawing kind of hard. So from the front, let's go ahead and start with our uh, hood shape. that we've been doing here. Boom, boom, do a neck. Okay, now from here, we can go ahead, uh, let's have it open a little bit actually. I made the mistake with that line. We shouldn't have done that, but let's have it open a little bit. We're gonna go straight down and go out a little bit and then kind of curve in. So we have a slight angle here. Now what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and put in the shoulders here. Just little dashes like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up very close to these dashes and do this sort of shape. And we can go straight down from there at an angle almost, and then pull in and create two things at the bottom here. I'm doing it opposite over here. And now we have the whole mid section of the hoodie. So, uh, with different styles of hoodies, you can actually go um, inward a little bit more if you want like this. Uh, there can also be more wrinkle if you want. Uh, with the hoodie. Uh, I don't do too much wrinkles with my hoodies. I imagine the hoodies being thicker, but um, if I did do more wrinkles with them, uh, I would just add a few down here at the bottom and stuff, and maybe I could do a tiny little example of that towards the end. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So now let's pull this down. Oh, we're getting into that one area, but that's all right. You guys already saw me do it. And I did a wrinkle right there. So I don't want to do wrinkles too high. I don't do them too high at least. Come down, we do like this indent here and then a wrinkle. And it's kind of going behind uh, this part of the hoodie unless they start bringing the arm up and you would see it slightly differently. So now let's do that. And I'm only doing one wrinkle here down at the bottom. So it's basically one wrinkle right here. I could have one coming in like that if I want to, but there we essentially have the hoodie from the front. Um, it's best to think of the hoodie from the front 
as, let's go ahead and put in some, <laughs> some pants, some quick pants. <laughs> Maybe some fingers here. Eh, fun, huh? Uh, ooh, hopefully I don't make the head too big. Let's pay attention to the head size. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It looks all right. Very poofy uh, hoodie, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> let's go in and make some jacket pockets there. Uh, very wide uh, <laughs> uh, shoulder range. Well, yeah, let's actually go ahead and do a quick version of that just for an example that basically we're looking at a shape like this. Let's make sure we're centered here. We're looking at a shape like this, and then we go ahead and put in essentially what would be the arms. That's what we're looking at here. And then we go ahead and put in the hood part. That is essentially what we're breaking this down into. And when you try to break it down into that uh, in different angles, it makes it a little bit easier. So let's go um, from the side, side angle. I'm starting with the arm, come down, do a wrinkle, and then there we go, boom, boom, boom. And of course you might wanna know how to draw someone from the side in general for this uh, anyways. There we go. And let's imagine that we can see some of this side going in perspective here. So the top, um, everything's essentially on the, what would be on the horizon line. So we have the converging point right here. We're gonna go back, down, in. We got a wrinkle there, boom. Got that wrinkle. Then we got the above wrinkle and we got that, and then the neck. And voila, we got the hoodie and the dude just chillaxing here. Try to draw, oh, kind of looks like his leg is bent there. I did not want to do that. And there, that's a decent hoodie from the side, just to make it as simple as possible there. Now to go on to a hoodie from the back, uh, it's gonna be very, very similar to how we did the hoodie from the front. The only difference is we're gonna be pulling this way down here. We're gonna be doing that wrinkle and then the original uh, kind of rim wrinkle and then that wrinkle that's on the inside. That third, we got the one, two, three. So this is, oh, sorry, second. This is a second, this is one, two except that's not necessarily a wrinkle, it's the rim. But anyways, so now we draw the shoulders, lines down for the shoulders, bam, 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 shabam. And it's essentially the same thing from the back, uh, except it's all connected here. Except this time, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go down, make a wrinkle. Maybe do something like that quick like that and boom we got a dude from the back all right let's draw some fingers don't have to be too complicated with the fingers right now this is just to get down the hoodie for you guys <laughs> uh yeah hopefully that also helped as well draw the head neck ears Bazam! Got the head from the back as well. Nice and bald. <laughs> so basically that is the beginner's guide on how to draw a hoodie. I mean, the only other thing you'd be able to go into is drawing hoodies from, you know, a different perspective and stuff like that. I said that kind of funny, different perspective. Um, but yeah, hopefully in some sort of way, this helped you guys, helped someone in some sort of way. Uh, this was super fun to do and uh, kind of demonstrate what I kind of find out found out with the hood because the hood thing definitely saved doing hoodies for me <laughs> and made it a lot easier. But in any case, if you guys want to help support my arts, help support what I do on this channel, you guys can check me on my Patreon, link in the description. And a huge thanks to all my Patreons and a special thanks to my Chunin and Jonin tiered Patreons. But 
in any case if you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel like what you see please subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out and like always guys hope you're having a great day or night wherever you live and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out